Here we are hanging out in the shop. We got Timmy over there, that guy, with his fancy new Wrangler 4XE. We've already done some 35s, taken it out a couple of times, done some testing, decided we're gonna need some diff skids, guys. Well, all of you that know the JLs know that that is a major issue. And while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw on the TerraFlex one and a half spacer lift just to help clear them tires a little bit and to help with the rubbing issue we've got a two inch bump stop also from TerraFlex. We're gonna see if we can't make this thing perform just a little bit better while we're out there playing. All right so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna get the lift all set up which we've already done then I'm gonna take my tape measure uh, measure where I'm at because we're kind of curious to see how much lift we actually get out of this one and a half spacer lift. If you look at it, this front spacer is a two inch spacer right here so that it counters that half inch uh, break that the factory puts on the Jeep initially. So if we look, our ground clearance to the slider from the factory just about 18 inches in the front. Now if we go to the back of the slider over here, should be a little bit different. And about 18 and a half, almost 18 and three quarter. So we'll end up hopefully correcting that and going up about an inch and a half. All right, so now that we're underneath here, we're gonna do the, the little spacer lift first. So the first thing we're gonna do probably about the only thing we're gonna do disconnect the shock that way we can get enough droop out of the axle to get this little spacer lift up in there all right now we got all those bolts disconnected we're gonna go ahead and raise it up and see if we can get this going uh tim you want to get under here and just keep an eye especially towards the rear make sure none of the the cables or the brake lines or anything are getting pulled too much as i lift it up i just don't want to yeah i want to break nothing we should have more than enough to be able to get this going. Oh. That's why they want us disconnecting everything. So as you can see, we're not in the shop anymore. And a lot of the video that we ended up taking while we were in the shop was unusable and just didn't work out very well. So for the lift, we ended up having to disconnect the shocks, locker cables, brake lines, track bars, and the sway bars at both ends so that we could uh, get enough, enough droop out of everything in order to make it, make it fit in there. So for the front end, if you uh, want to make it a little easier on yourself doing the driver's side, disconnect the the front drive line that will allow you to get the extra extra droop out of the axle because the drive line itself does get limited by the factory cross member up there at the front end so it kind of kind of made things a little more difficult for us but we were able to just kind of hercules it up in there instead of having to worry about doing all the extra work with that <laughs> down here taking off all the little retainer clips that hold the wires in place because well we're gonna get more articulated so we don't need that anymore that's interesting that's a little stud here on the arm that it nuts do that little thing really yeah it just kind of kind of nuts right there to it so <laughs> Spare nut, anybody? Anybody? Spare nut? Oh, you So we learned that Timmy can't catch nuts. <laughs> You're not going to make a man happy if you can't catch a nut. <laughs> That's all right. The girlfriend still like it. Men might not be happy with your no nut catching abilities, but the ladies still like it. And we got nuts rolling. Your nuts, nuts are a rolling. We have the Uggadugas, but we opted to not use them. And then we hear that. 
I could be ugly dugging this right here, but I don't have ugly dugging right now. Do you want ugly dugging? I do. All right, so we conceded and pulled airline down. Make this job go a little bit faster. Gave Chris some ugga duggas. It took us more time to get you the tool than it did to you to take everything off. That's how it normally is. Now here we go. You're gonna see after the two inch lift, see where we're at here. Oh, I guess it's an inch and a half lift in theory. So now we're at about 20 and a quarter, just shy of 20 and a half. And for the rear, we are at just about 21, just shy of 21. So grand total, we ended up gaining a about two and a quarter inches all the way around both sides. Uh, the lift is definitely going to be beneficial. So we've also got some skid plates that we're going to be putting on here. Uh, full rock hard skid system whenever it gets here. And hopefully we end up with about an inch and a half of lift overall. Really the puck lift was just to counter all the extra weight that we're going to be throwing on here later. So we'll see how that works out. So the diff skid video, we ended up not getting anything that was actually usable. As you can tell from some of the other clips in there, it's real dark underneath the vehicle. and We're new to this whole, whole video thing, so we, we don't have the lighting, we don't have any of that kind of goodness. So we're just gonna make do with what we got, right? So here we are. I'll just give you a quick basic rundown of what's going on with the diff skids. They're a real simple install. Follow the instructions as much as even I don't like using them, they do help. It was real simple, four bolts out of the diff cover itself. You throw it up into place, you put the four bolts that are supplied by Rough Country that are longer than the factory ones to compensate for that quarter inch steel that you're throwing up there. Throw those in place, leave them loose, that way you can get everything set up in there nicely. Take the little U strap that they give you, throw that over the, the shank of the pinion there, over the housing itself, bolt it into place, tighten everything down to where you're happy with it, you're ready to go send it. Alright, we're ready? We're ready? We good? We good? We doing something? We yes! Good? Okay. Ooh, armpit sniffing. Yeah, sniffing my armpit, yeah. Armpit sniffing, y'all. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Don't go to the armpit, y'all. Don't go to the armpit, y'all.